Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I have had like so many computer problems. Um, and I know I said that in the last video. And after the last video, the computer died again. Um, so I had a friend reinstall a new hard drive. Um, I have to try and uh, recover my old hard drive by sending it off to, I don't know, Techie World somewhere. Um, and then I had to buy a new camera for my uh, new hard drive. So I think we're in a safe space right now and in a functional space right now. And I'm very excited to be bringing you this video because this is my first ever YouTube video that I have published where I've done a full makeup look. Um, and today's makeup look was inspired by the summer. And I used a bunch of new products that I've been using and some oldies but goodies that I love. Um, but the video uh, is actually about these brushes. So um, MOTD was gracious enough to send me um, some of their brushes and I put this look together using only these brushes on my entire face. And there is a huge um, selection of brushes. I have four of the brushes right now and you'll see them in the video. I'll talk about them a little bit more. But there's also going to be a coupon code uh, down in the description so you can check that out. But I wanted to put this together uh, because the summer is here and it's gorgeous outside here in South Florida. Like right behind this camera I have a big picture window that looks out to my pool in my backyard and it is just um, absolutely gorgeous. It is summer weather, it's time to get out, use bright colors. Um, the corals and like the bronzies are amazing for this time of year and that is the look that I wanted to put together for you guys. So I hope you like this look and just stick around to see how I put it all together using some of my favorite products. Good morning and thanks for sticking around and let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial um, and I'm just going to preface this with I am not a makeup artist but I do love makeup and I just wanted to play with some of my makeup today and some of my new um, items and makeup brushes to put together this summery bronzy mermaid goddess look. So let's see how it comes together. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prime my face and I'm going to prime my lips. And for that, I'm going to start with my uh, Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I love this primer. Um, I had to cut the top off because I'm like pretty much like all done with it. So I have to kind of like dig out what I have left. Um, I'm going to try this primer um, going forward. I don't know if any of you have tried it. If you have, let me know in the comments what you think. I swatched it, I guess, you know, I tried it on my hand and it felt a little greasy. Uh, let me see. I don't know why. I guess maybe the dimethicone and the vinyl. I don't know what, um, what was causing just like the ultimate like slipperiness, but um, I'm going to give it a try because it did dry up. It didn't stay greasy but it does take a while to set, so maybe like that's what I need to think about. All right, actually, you know what? I'm gonna like pin my hair back a little bit. Because if not, it's just gonna drive me insane. Not too bad, right? <laughs> and I'm going to prime my lips. And for that, I'm going to use this new rose lip balm that I picked up from Boho Chic Cosmetics. I did pick up a few items from them that um, we'll be using in this tutorial. And they did send me um, a couple of items as well uh, to kind of test out and um, see how I like them. So this was one of the items that I received from them for free. And then you'll see some of the items that I purchased as well. And this is just a rose lip balm. Has a little rose petal in it. Super cute. And I'm just gonna moisturize. I'm not gonna be using a liquid lipstick today. 
I'm going to be using something a little bit more moisturizing. But it's the morning, um, and I figured why not just kind of get started with some soft lips. All right, so that's good. So while my face kind of sets with the primer, I'm going to go ahead and start my eyes. Um, I always do my eyes first. I don't know why. That's something that... Uh, I saw in a, I want to say I saw it in like a YouTube video and I don't know, I can't remember like who or when or how. It was a very long time ago and honestly it works better for me that way because that way if I do have any type of like fallout or if I make any mistakes, it's really easy to clean it up um, when I do my full face. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyes and I'm going to do that with the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Ultimate Eye Primer. I really like this primer. It reminds me of the Wet n Wild primer. Um, the only difference um, why I like this one a little bit better is that it doesn't leave um, like a residue behind that I noticed with the Wet n Wild primer. Like with the Wet n Wild primer, I can see where I've applied it. With this, I don't get that same um, like leftover residue. And it feels like almost identical, like when you're applying it. So I really, really like this eye primer. And for this look, we are going to be using my new brushes. Um, I did do a first impression on these brushes um, on Facebook Live with a short um, tutorial there as well. So I'll put a link to that in the description so you guys can check it out if you want to check it out. But these are the MOTD brushes. I received four of them. Um, to try out and see how I like them. I received the uh, kind of like the face foundation brush which is called Beauty in the Base and they're beautiful. They're like a matte black, they have super cute names and then they have the rose gold um, bristle holder and then the bristles are like like super soft and thick. So I've been using these brushes for about I would say maybe like a month. This is Get Cheeky With It which you'll see me use for like the blush and the highlighter. And then I received also for the eyes, Miss Shady Lady, which is probably the my favorite brush that I have right now from them. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you guys. Maybe not. And then the crease brush, which is eye catching crease. And this one works really well as a crease brush. I have a few that are on my, um, I don't know, do you hear my like dogs eating and drinking water in the background? I am sorry. I do own three big dogs and they kind of um, do whatever they want. So um, I have a few that are on my wish list and I'll put a, a list of my MOTD wish list down at the bottom. But you can get 10% off. Um, I don't make any type of money back um, with you using my discount code. And it's really just my name, Lucy, and that will give you 10% off. So L-U-C-Y, and you can get 10% off at MOTDcosmetics.com. So let's go ahead and get started. My eye primer has pretty much set. And I'm going to go in with my 100% pure mermaid palette. And I'm going to be using the highlighter color actually, which is called Siren. And I'm gonna go in with that basically like all over my lid. I love this color, it's so pretty. It has a sheen, like a peachy pearly sheen to it, but it's not like an overwhelming overall color. I just like it kind of like as the base for all my colors because that way any open spots will kind of show this through and it makes a lot of my other colors easy to blend. So I'm using Miss Shady Lady for this, just kind of getting it all over my lid. I'll also put a link in the description to my review of this palette. This is like one of my favorite palettes that I own. It's great for travel. You've got um, highlighter, you've got a blush, which is beautiful, and then you've got these three eyeshadows. And 
while one of them is kind of like a dual chrome purplish brown and the other two are green, they work really, really well together. All right, so I've got that kind of like all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with um, one of my new um, mineral eyeshadows from Boho She Cosmetics. This is from a collection that she came out with um, called, I believe it's called Under the Sea, but I will put a link um, in the description and it's, I believe it's like seven eyeshadows. Um, I want to say the setting powder came in there as well. Um, and then if you buy the whole set, you actually get a really cute um, brush bag, which I bought the whole set. So it comes with a super cute um, mermaid brush bag. And then you can just have compartments for all your brushes and then the little tie. So that's where this is where I keep my MOTD brushes. So I'm going to go in with Reef, which is a really pretty, like, coppery shade. And I'm going to put that all over my lid because I really want this look to kind of stand out and be that summery, bronzy look. And this is just a really pretty color. And I've never been one for like loose mineral makeup. But these, when I saw the collection, I really, really wanted to try them. So I um, just decided to make the purchase. And I'll put a link in the description to the swatches. So beautiful, like these colors. Like, I don't even know if you're going to get the full effect, like, on the camera. But they're very, very pretty. And I just kind of tap some into the lid. I know that's pretty much what everybody else does. I just tap some into the lid and I dip my brush in there. And then I, to close it, I just kind of turn it back around so I don't lose any of my product. And I have my makeup over here, you guys. So I'm sorry. I know I'm kind of like leaning over this way. So how do you like my new setup? Um, so I think this is the best uh, sunlight I can capture. And it's a natural, I have like a, a window like right behind the camera, which opens up to like my backyard. But then I um, got this screen from a dear friend of mine who I work with. And I, she, I told her I was looking to buy one. And she's like, hold on, what about this? And she showed me a picture, and I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And she's like, oh, come pick it up. And she just gave it to me. <gasps> like, thank you so much, Cindy, if you watch this. She's so sweet. All right, so we went in with Reef, and we kind of went in all over the lid with that. And so this is how I close my mineral little shadows so I don't lose any product. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crease brush the eye-catching crease, <laughs> upside down, eye-catching crease, and I'm going to use, um, this is actually, I believe, a blush from Boho She Cosmetics, but it's so pretty. Um, it's called Hibiscus, and I thought it would do really well in the crease for this look, so I'm just going to dip. It's kind of like a, I want to say almost like a rusty burgundy kind of color, but not as dark as like a burgundy. And I'm just going to put that right in the crease. You can see it's definitely brighter than like a burgundy. It's like gorgeous. I love this color. And I do have hooded eyes, so I kind of like try to open my eyes wide when I'm doing the eyeshadows just so I can make sure I get it where I want it. Let me see. 
I don't know why it's easier to see it like in the camera when I'm doing it, but then applying it, it's easier in the mirror. Yeah, I just love these colors. Like, you go out with these colors for the summer, and it's just like perfect. It's like rosy, gold, bronze. I love those shades. And this hibiscus and the reef together, like they just work really well together. I don't even know if it's meant to be an eyeshadow, but when I was thinking about what I wanted to use for this look, I was like, you know what, I think that would make a really nice color, um, like in the crease. And I think, I really think it does. So this is why I don't um, do my face first. There you go. How about that? So I'm going to just blend that out a little bit with Miss Shady Lady. Circles, girls. Blending circles. Just so I don't have that harsh line. And you can see I'm almost taking the color all the way up to the brow bone, but we'll clean that up. I'm one to like apply, 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 and then clean up rather than not apply enough. See, I just love that color. It's so pretty. And then we're going to go in with Seashell, which is like a really pretty, almost like iridescent, um, opaly kind of color. I'm just going to clean off my brush. And we're going to put that in the brow bone area. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you hear my dog? She's like, Licking herself over here. What are you doing, Star? And we'll just put some in the. I usually do the inner corner like once my look is completely done. We could do that again later. How do you like that? I love it. And let's see, what else do I want to do in the eye? I think I might go in with, let's see, I have my Ofra highlighter. And I think I may go in with this rose gold. So this is the Illuminating Blush Stripes. But this, um, I use it as more of a highlighter, and it's like super intense. But I'm going to go in with this rose gold color, and I'm just going to pop it right in the center. And this is a pretty, like, intense highlighter. Oh, what, Sammy Whammy? No, come here. Okay, I'm back. And let's go ahead and finish this look real quick. Um, so I think I'm going to move on to my face. And so we've already primed, so that step is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down my concealers, um, and then put my foundation on top of that. So I picked up um, these two cushions from Wet n Wild, and I have really been impressed. Um, they're not concealers, they're color correctors, um, and, but I almost use them as a concealer. Like, I use the uh, peach one for dark circles, and then I use the redness one, which is green. Um, I don't have a whole lot. I get a lot of redness like right here in the cheeks. And I don't know if you can really see it right now because I'm a little bit more tan. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just use them anyway. So these are really cool. They have their own little sponge applicator, which I never use. But they have like a little lid that you pop off. And I never even dip my fingers into this. I literally just pull product off of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Got some of this on my face where I feel like I get redness. 
Plus, I feel like the green helps to brighten up a little bit. So any, anywhere I feel like I get a little bit red, I can pop some of this on there. Let's see. And up to this point, I've never even like dipped my finger into that um, sponge, into the cushion, sorry, not the sponge. And then I'm gonna go in with the dark circle one, do the same thing. This is the peach one. And I literally just work off the lid. Do you hear my son scurrying in the background? And I have dark circles and I mean, I don't know, nothing much I can really do about it. I haven't found like a really good concealer for that. And this has been the one that's worked the best for me. And I like to put this on under my foundation. I know people have their own preferences as to how they do things. This is how I like to do it. All right. I'm going to put the lid back up on that. And now I'm going to go in with my foundation. And so I am a little bit more tan than usual. I usually just use the 100% pure second skin um, in the shade golden peach is like my natural skin tone but because i'm a little bit darker i'm going to add in a little bit of my 14e um, cosmetics aloe nourish foundation which has spf 23 in it as well and this is in the shade bamboo so this is like a shade darker um, i also have the shade sand which is like my my regular skin tone um and then this one um she sent me so that i could kind of like darken and contour and do things like that so that's what i'm going to use to just darken up this shade a little bit so i'm going to add in about that much foundation and then just darken it up a little bit with the aloe one kind of mix it up yeah, see, I love concocting things. And then I'm just gonna dot this kind of all over. Go over what I added. I love this season. I love being able to get a tan, go out in the ocean, go on the boat. And I like just dotting it everywhere. <laughs> it is what it is. And I'm going to take my beauty in the base. And I'm just going to kind of buff that in. I really like, um, I feel like, I don't like how a foundation brush does this. Like, you know how a foundation brush is usually flat? And I know it looks like super light on me right now, but this does um, kind of like adjust to my shade after a minute. I know when I first started using these foundations, I was like, oh my God, I feel like they're too light. But then once I applied them and I saw them just automatically kind of start to develop the color I was like, oh, look at that. And this is why I like to do my makeup or my face last, because then I can just kind of like clean up. Maybe this is still too light, right? Yeah, look at that. I must have gotten a really good tan this weekend. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and work with this. So I need to darken this up a little bit. And I'm gonna do that with, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Glow palette. And I'm just gonna dip into that bronzy shade and just kind of 
darken this up a little just to kind of match my tan. See how that's working already? I love this little palette because it has the bronzer, it has the um, highlighter and the blush in like perfect summer shades. And this was a gift from one of my blogging sisters, Dawn, who we do a lot of things together. What you doing, Sebby? My son is in the kitchen. I hear him. <laughs> All right, so we darkened that up a little bit. I feel like I darkened my forehead too much. But we can blend, 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 right? I think I'm good with that. The next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to set with the setting powder that I got, also from Boho Chic Cosmetics. Um, so this is just their setting powder, but it smells really good. It actually smells like lavender. And because I was using this kind of like with my foundation, I'm going to use my blush brush for this. What you doing, Sebi? Mm. And I'm just going to take this everywhere that I don't apply blush and highlighter. And it smells so good because it actually has, oh, that just went out the window, it actually has um, lavender essential oil in it. And obviously you can tell I'm not a makeup artist just by the way I'm doing everything, huh? But it gets the job done, right? For like an everyday, so I'm just your everyday person doing my makeup. Next up, I'm going to apply my blush and my highlighter. And for that, I'm going to use my mermaid palette again. And I'm going to go in with that um, coral blush. It's called Coral with uh, Get Cheeky With It, which is what I've been using. And I'm going to get in there. I'm going to tap off a little. This is like a perfect summer color. I don't even know if you can kind of get that color, but it's beautiful. And it has a sheen to it. So this would be pretty on the eyes as well. I feel like anything can, everything is so adaptable. You can use blush wherever you want. You can use eyeshadows as highlighters. And then I'm going to go in with my 100% pure um, gemmed luminizer, which isn't this packaging beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. And this is in the shade rose gold. And I'm going to just dip, I'm going to tap off a little, and I'm going to add that wherever I want some highlight. And this again is perfect. Look at that. But it's perfect for summer. I feel like you can actually go pretty heavy handed with this luminizer because it's very subtle, but it's so pretty. Put some on the tip of my nose. And. Cupid's bow. And put that to the side. I'm going to finish up my eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is eyebrows, 
um, lashes and then just um, highlight a little more. And for eye, eyebrows, I have been loving the 100% pure green tea fiber brow builder. Um, and that is the dog who wants to now come back in. So give me one second. All right, so I'm back and we're gonna do the eyebrows. And I love, love, love this product. This is one of their newer products. It is kind of like a, has fibers in it, I think. And you can just kind of brush it in. It reminds me of, is it like, a, it was from Benefit. Like before I knew that they weren't cruelty free, I got it and it's, um, it's like the same style, like little wand, but it was awesome. And I was never able to find something similar until this came out. And like, I love it. Like, look at that. Look at that eyebrow. Look at that, compare. I'm not one for chiseled eyebrows. I pretty much just kind of fill them in and shape them. Like you'll never see me do that whole concealer thing. That's just like way too much work for me. But this is awesome. I love it. Look at that. I'm done with my eyebrows. And then let's do mascara. I have been loving the, this is the Beauty Without Cruelty Full Volume Mascara. is freaking awesome. What are the shoes? Yep, you're right here next to me with the shoe. Where's the shoe? I got it. Okay. It's a family affair here at my house. Because they're hanging out together. Both of my dogs are in their same crate. They love each other. They've been raised together. They're obsessed with each other. Mind you, each of them weighs 70 pounds. So right now they're both sitting in one crate. Like, are you guys having fun? What are you doing? We are almost done with this look, guys. I promise, just bear with me. I know it's been kind of long. But how often do you get to see me do my makeup on camera? Huh? This is the actually the second time. The first time is that Facebook Live video. So like I said, I'll put that link in the description. This is a great mascara. I think I got this in um, either the vegan quarterly beauty box or like one of the Petit Vore boxes. I can't remember which one. But I love those boxes. If you guys are not um, aware of them, Petit Vore is a vegan and cruelty-free monthly beauty box. And then the Vegan vegan Cuts has a, a monthly beauty box, but they have a quarterly just makeup box, which I love because it's just all makeup. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, let's see, what do I want? What do I want? Let's contour a little bit. Even though we kind of like darkened everything up, I'm going to go back in with my cosmetics and get cheeky with it. And I'm going to dip into that bronzer and just kind of go into the hollows just a bit. And I also like to do right around here because it kind of makes my neck look a little longer. And we are going to go in with lips. So um, to me, this is like the perfect summer color. This is from Flower Beauty. It is their 
Lip Suede Velvet Lip Chubby in the color Coral Floral. This is not like a long lasting lipstick by any stretch of the imagination. It's just kind of like a, you can go light, you can build it. So this is kind of like just a light application right there. And you can build it up. And at no point does it feel like cakey or too much. And again, it's not going to last, but it's super moisturizing. It's easy to carry around and reapply. And I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And I think it goes really well with the overall look. Um, and I'm going to go back in with the shade Reef, which was like that coppery color. And I'm going to use the eye catching crease brush just to kind of pick up some of that color and add it right on the lips and get that kind of dimension. See? How do you like that? All right, let me undo my hair. Actually kind of liked it back, huh? And this is my final summer goddess look. Like it's bronzy, it's orangey, it's just beautiful, I think. But I could be looking at it going, oh my god, girl, what were you thinking? But I think it looks nice. So tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I will also put links to all the products that I used. Some of those links may be affiliate links, which means that I do earn um, a small, small commission if you buy anything off that link. Um, but um, like I said, I love all of the products that I used in this look, and I appreciate it um, that you stuck around and watched to the end um, to see how it all came together. And as always, have a beautiful day. Um, the summer is upon us, so go out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Bye. Bad in Brooklyn or someplace like that With life and taxis flying past We tore that dance hall down